Good afternoon, my name is Clint Newell. I'm with Stratasys. and I'm here at the IMTS 2016 show. Uh, behind me you see the uh, Robotic Composite 3D Demonstrators. This is a new technology uh, demonstration from Stratasys uh, geared towards the composite industry. So uh, looking at applications across aerospace, automotive, defense, oil and gas, and wind energy, uh, really moving into a manufacturing uh, space with composites. Uh, so one of the unique features of this particular platform uh, is a multi-axis robotic deposition approach. Uh, so this gives you a higher degree of uh, freedom in terms of the deposition paths that are possible. Uh, this is required uh, to achieve the maximum performance of a composite material system. So we're actually able to orient the fibers as we deposit them uh, to maximize the load transfer in a, in a, in a given application. Uh, what you see printing here is a, a, a structural dome uh, that's got some uh, reinforcing ribs uh, that will be printed normal to the surface uh, as the table transitions 90 degrees uh, and all eight axes uh, come into play. This system is also designed to have uh, an automated tool changing system so we can drop off different end effectors or tools. Uh, so we'll, we'll do a hybrid uh, manufacturing. We have additive manufacturing capabilities uh, and we'll have a suite of other tools including secondary processes like machining and drilling, uh, sanding, painting, priming, welding, uh, all the different technologies that are necessary to produce a final finished article or product. Right now you see a, uh, a traditional FDM uh, liquefier based extrusion process that's filament driven. Uh, if we come over here, I'll show you a, uh, a new technology from Stratasys. This is a screw based extrusion uh, technology. So this is a, a pellet feedstock, uh, which really opens up the, the portfolio of materials that are possible uh, and really tailoring it to the application space. And so this is a, a new technology for Stratasys uh, where it really opens up the doors for composite material systems uh, and very different different flow rates, uh, throughput uh, are possible with this particular extruder. Uh, so on the shelf here, we've got a couple of demonstration parts that we're producing. Uh, one of them is the, the, the structural dome that I mentioned earlier. Uh, and again, this is uh, really highlighting the multi-axis deposition approach to add uh, certain structural elements to the outside of a, of a given uh, article. Uh, and then on the left here, you've got a, a, what we're calling a composite auger. Again, it's a notional design, uh, really designed to show off uh, the capabilities of multi-axis robotic deposition. And so this auger is built in a traditional 2.5D uh, single tool path, uh, helical tool path, and then the, the table, uh, tilt rotary table tilts, uh, and the, uh, the spiral uh, auger bit is uh, applied uh, normal to the surface uh, to create that, that final ribbing structure.